Ladies and gentlemen, oh boy, guys, gals, travelers of all ages, welcome to another suck sesh. Luckily, not the end of the series yet, but man, we're we're here. We're at the end of the third season of Succession. We got a lot of stuff uh, queued up. First, the acquisition, now turned merger. Old Skarsgård here, he said, well, I know my dad's got a great role in Dune and uh, Dune Part 2 right now, so I'm going to have to ask for uh, this to become a merger of equals instead, which, you know, Roman, to his credit, was able to queue that up, sell it, and it all worked until... He can't help himself, uh, ended up sending his father a dick pic by accident. So now any trust built up with his father is, I think, is pretty much it's on the knife's edge. It's it's crazy. And Shiv has decided, she's like, screw my family, screw everybody else. I want power. I want to win. I don't care what I have to do. So her currently she has Roman in her sights. And with the dick pic scandal, and she wants to put Jerry in a tough spot. And either Jerry files an HR complaint and then old Papa Dragon can't have that. Ken is, I think he, at his birthday a couple episodes back, I think he realized that he's he's just, it's, it's all a little bit too much. So Kendall's on sabbatical, sabbatical, honey. He's not in a great headspace right now. I honestly have no idea where his character's going to go by the end of this. Tom, I think, is more and more realizing, even though he no longer seems to face the threat of prison, I think he's realizing truly truly where he stands in the relationship with his wife this is just one of those seasons where it's again somebody put it best in the comments like it's just hard to root for the kids like everybody is just just kind of shitty making some sloppy dirty greasy moves this season but i honestly have no clue where this could possibly go will the merger go through will it can take the severance package from his father as, as he was dangling it like a carrot and his dad's like oh maybe you should leave maybe i won't let you leave maybe i'll keep you on will roman avoid the scandal will jerry remain as ceo will frank and carl just kind of chill on the back burner and, and secure their pensions who knows but as always thank you guys and gals so much for watching if this is the last episode you can do it if you want to put in show suggestions and you haven't already i fully intend on going back through the entire season and counting comment by comment and keeping it keeping track of all the shows that were requested and then based on how many are similar whatever the top three or five shows are that'll be what the vote is for season four uh when i when i finish the show and that'll kind of decide where we go from there so here we go with the season three finale Marg was tired she was dead tired her head was dead tired uh -oh. her paws were dead tired even her tail was dead tired Marg thought immediately getting cozy with the kid that she walloped at thanksgiving huh isn't this a bit young for you oh. um sometimes he still likes it sometimes i still like it oh you all right, son? Your dad was okay, you know? Yeah. He was okay. Was? Yeah. What do you mean, was? Terry, Terry can you get me a book, uh, something with some action? Ooh. Ken didn't drown in the pool, did he? <laughs> How wild would that be? I think that's what happened, because I saw Ken's air bubbles at the end of the last episode, and we haven't seen him in a preview for this one yet. I, I don't know if Ken's dead, but I think probably Ken's in the hospital right now. I think that he... He might have drowned. If there, there's a reason why, if Logan's looking after the kids right now, and he he literally just said your dad was okay, like. Jerry, where are you, Jerry? Well, oh, <laughs> yeah, Jerry. gotta hoof it. You jump on that grenade for us. Thanks, pal. It doesn't seem right. I don't want Tennessee Avenue. My turn then. Playing Monopoly. Of course, these guys are playing damn Monopoly. The perfect. The perfect board game for this family. And in case you're wondering, yes, I have uh, I have Haku the Dragon to support uh, Papa Dragon in this episode. Not that I support Logan or anything like that, but just felt fitting. And once again, I'm on your shit. Ooh, that'd oh, that'd be me. Boy. Mm -hmm. Shiv's like, I have to win Monopoly. 150. You know, I know what you tried to do, Dad. What? Uh, I thought that would have kind of been your dream, Rome. Me f***ing Jerry with your dick. Come on, dick pickler. Pay up. It's out, and everybody knows. Hey, get out of jail free card. <laughs> Another one. <laughs> Shut oh, up. Service, huh? I shall have a Cuba Libre and a club sandwich, please. Oh, okay. Well, let me uh, grab a couple of kids' menus, and I'll be right back. The service Got here em. is weird and slow and f***ing my dad. Mm. You still into this, Will? You want to take a turn around the gardens? Oh, come on, Will. I'll marry him. He's probably got, like, 
10 years left in him, and then it's all gravy. <laughs> I do not wish my private affairs to become the subject of table chat, okay? Okay, I have to go. Can I give my sure. copies to yeah. Chef? No, 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 no. no, 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 no oh my no, God, no, no, how very Tom of you. you Forbes profile piece. I'm turning ATN citizens into a cash machine, and they want to know how I did it. Well, by turning on the bigot spigot to full gush. Well, Damn. bigot spigot is a little reductive and unfair. But, but accurate. Anyway, goodbye. Because <laughs> he took Tom's bye -bye. money. Shit. Talk about me. Will do. <laughs> Willis saw it too. True to the board game, true to life. What a perfect metaphor, by the way. I love to see like a TikTok or like a video where it's like the kids actually play Monopoly and it's just all of them with their personalities, traits, and mannerisms because it's the perfect metaphor for the family. I think you might have um, accidentally been cheating. <laughs> what? I was only stealing so I could win. Eh, cheating's part of it. Well, looky, Chip, do you think that stealing is what good people do? <laughs> stealing. Cheating in Monopoly? Come oh, on. Come on. Mm. Okay, well, he's here. Be oh. nice. Yes, I will be nice to Kurt Cobain of the fucking floaties. Hi. Hey, he's just coming. Appreciate what you did. It was nothing. That tells me, wait, Kurt Cobain of the floaties. It tells me, yeah, Ken probably got pissed drunk, passed out in the pool, almost drowned, and his assistant slash Greg's uh, girlfriend here probably brought him back to life. Sure. But hey, you know, if you find him in the pool again, there's a C note in it for you to just let him sink, okay? Too soon, said the He's basically fine. They just kept him overnight to no media pickup. So, all good. Great, and all contained. Good, good. Unless somebody leaks it. Oh. Hey, buddy. Uh, Got your hydration? Oh, Ken's in a. Hey, buddy. Ken hey. looks like hey. shit. Hey. What's up, Ken? Hey. 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 You okay, brother? All good. Got let's, some. Let's just not make a whole song Gatorade. Dance, okay. Got some tain in your well, bottle I there. Think we will make a song and dance. You nearly drown, Ken. Oh, no, he just fell off an airbed. He's fine. One too many limoncellos, no biggie. Yeah. Oh, Gatorade, yeah. I'm just gonna grab my kids, I guess. Uh... Uh, they can stay here, I'm sure, tonight, if it's easier. I'm not leaving them with him. All right, then. Hmm. Guess we'll see you at the royal wedding, then. Maybe. I might need to get home. I'm talking to new lawyers. New lawyers? Like oh, here we new, go. New lawyers? Yeah, well, I can't really say, but, yeah, just so you know, uh, we're... Yeah, we're discussing putting everything, like all the papers and all my communications for the last five years up on my Insta. On Insta? Ken. And, uh, that's the move, huh? Vanity Fair might be doing a big thing with me, the whole thing, so. I mean, if he actually takes it seriously this time, if Ken can bring humility and just <laughs> even an even keel attitude and nature to this, and not get all like, oh yeah, bro, we're gonna do this, we're gonna light it up, bro. I'm crucifying myself for the for the mother of business or whatever. I I feel like that could be Kendall's character arc if he wants to absolve himself, like truly, like in this in in, in the way of like ab absolution, forgiveness, redemption. It's like you also he knows that he's culpable and he's done some not great stuff. So if he truly is gonna sit in front of his father like he did in the last episode and try to call him out and say, I'm not you, I'm better than you then i the best thing he can do is come out and say hey here's everything literally everything i'm par i was part of the problem too oh by the way i was responsible for that kid's death lock me up do whatever you gotta do i'll face the repercussions but this is everything like if you're gonna make a case and air the the dirty laundry for the systematic issues in your family and this company that's that's all literally part of it is you have to like it's it's got to be you too and ken has had wake up call after wake up call after wake up call and this could be like his final chance of <laughs> that and he just had an nde <laughs> whether you're suicidal or whether maybe this was like accidental is almost like suicide via manslaughter ndes are also powerful wake-up calls as well i also wanted to make a note saying i thought it was interesting i am probably reading too much into it but i found it very interesting how logan's choice of of wording there was i'm, I'm sure he was asking the kid like you know oh your your father was okay right like like he before that happened nothing crazy happened but at the same time the nefarious part of my mind is him being like oh you know your father was okay he was uh he was a good man, you know, but he's he's not with us anymore. Okay, kids, let's go. Let's go. All right, They're good. Coming. Good luck, Kendall. Dad, you good? We good? Uh oh. Uh, do you want me on that call? Go no. you. Okay. Go on, Carl. What? Carl. DOJ is gonna likely hit us with an historic fine. Gojo's market cap has overtaken ours. Okay. <clears throat> okay. Yeah, so they have that, leverage. That already happening. So. Gojo's board may be considering entertaining other options. What? what? Nice. What the fuck? 
Okay, well, get is wrecked. he gonna pull the plug? Or is Gojo Rome? Do you know? He swallowed the merger, but I don't know how much more he can f***ing eat. Well, okay, don't get all sweaty, Betty. I'm gonna figure it out and I'll drop you an email, okay? Sure. Thanks. Good luck. I'm gonna see Mapson. Do you want me to come with you, Dad? No. No. Stay here and play with your dick. Uh, I can Great. come with you, Dad. No, it's no, not no, a... no, I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. No, come on, Tumble Down. He's your pal. Well, oh. Let's go see Hans Christian Ander, f and see if he's been telling us fucking fairy tales. <laughs> Old Tumble Down, huh? Nah, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. I'm joking. I'm joking. That's the setup for the episode. The acquisition turn merger for Gojo is in trouble because due to some uh, strategic tweets and uh, like almost like insider trading, uh, old Madsen. Um, I keep seeing Madsen, by the way. I read it uh, wrong. It's Matson, like with the T's. Uh, Madsen is uh, <laughs> basically was just like hint, hint, hint. I'm getting into sports betting. And now Gojo's like tech company value is so high that they're like, why would we need to merge with... Uh, Waystar Royco, like. See, now we're both meeting up with them, huh? Brian Cox is like a scars guard, huh? <laughs> you know one, you know them all. I see you. At least he's got Roman with him for this. Like, he's not totally kept him out of the loop. But I do like how it's it's switched up. Like, season two was like, this was like Logan and Kendall. And now this season, it's literally, I kind of called it. Each season is like each sibling's kind of potential every now and then like whether it's like like kendall flanking logan or it's, it's shiv flanking logan now it's roman through a lot of season three kind of on his come up so so what is it son oh no are you scared of pussy <laughs> is it all screens are up the ass with you or what jesus no god damn can we not that's it's that was just being horrible it's good it's all good if you need to get straightened out get straightened out okay yep Copy. I don't want to know. Great. <laughs> Good talk, Dad. Good talk. If you got something going on, figure it out. I don't want to. I don't want to know you. I don't want to get to know you. Just be a good son. All right. Great. Imagine having enough money to have like your own boat and boat dock and Welcome. like staff. Hey. Are we doing this merger or not? Right to it. Wow. Just uh. Straight in there, huh? Yep, no uh, yeah, lube. Well, you know, I'm old. <laughs> and what do you want, a better vote? Oh, what a nice house you got here. No, I, I like it. I get bored easily. Yeah, everything's boring, isn't it? Yeah, everything is pretty f***ing boring. Except this. <laughs> yeah, you got me interested. How interested? Look, I don't want to f*** around forever with this. I mean, I've seen how your price is, and I understand <laughs> that your board is looking at all the options, but if we stay tight... I can use some espresso. This can work. Zuckerberg wants... Do you know Mark, by the way? Uh-huh. Well, he, he once told me that in ancient Rome, at one point, they wanted to make all the slaves wear something so they could identify them. Cloak or whatever. But then they decided not to do it because they realized if all the slaves dressed the same, they would see how many of them there were, and they'd rise up and kill the masters. Damn. Yeah, we don't, we don't love Mark. So, what, does he have a kid in Malaysia reading history for him now? <laughs> I don't know. But the point is, if, if we want to survive, we need a hell of a lot of little folks running around shitting us data, you know, for the eyeballs, for the revenue, for the scale. Mm -hmm. No offense, but I don't think you have the technology or the orientation to get there. True. And you don't have the content. Well, maybe not, but... We're flying like a fucking rocket ship, and you're sinking like a lead balloon. We hear you have problems with binge and burn. We got the good stuff. Sure, sure. Some of your content is pretty cool, I guess, but business-wise, it's time for you to beef up or sell out. And you can't become a tech player because you and your business are just too fucking old. Whoa. He is in great shape. You know who he's fucking? <laughs> I don't want to be rude because you're a legend. So, you want me to come in your sauna and tell you what a pretty pecker you got? <laughs> I'm just really excited about the future. Mm -hmm. So am I. It is getting to a point where, like, Logan and Waystar, like, the innovation is what helps businesses thrive and keep changing things. And, I mean, I mean, you could argue that some corporations and some institutions have stuck around for so long because 
they keep their core foundation and values but it's like it's like a good like a good sequel like blade runner 2049 is the perfect example you can't just completely scrap what happened before and then just try to do something new and disregard what came before a good sequel takes the foundations and what you've built and expands it and builds upon it pays homage and respect to it doesn't necessarily duplicate it it's additive it's same thing with corporations like this and it's how we saw like the rise of netflix and how a lot of this show is it pertains so heavily to like our media landscape and our corporations and all that is this is exactly right it's waystar has the the fundamentals down and they have the infrastructure there and they have content but now the content like that's still engaging for people but it's it's how it's then seen as we saw their streaming services are 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 poo poo they're dog water and they need tech innovations and it's what it's literally what kendall was trying to do since episode one Episode one, Kendall was trying to get the uh, the Volter merger going to get like tech introduced into the company. And if Logan I would have just accepted all that from the get go, I feel if Logan had accepted the tech innovations, I don't I think a lot of what's happening now wouldn't have had to happen. But Logan and his pride and ego was like, I can read the climate and then couldn't. And then they've sinking. They're facing lots of trials and tribulations now. And now that's why he's at a point where like now another up and coming tech company gojo is, is is in the works and now logan is seriously entertaining this and now logan's pivoted and changed his own little narrative and being like well you know i think this would be a good merger for us because now he needs it if he had just accepted before what like kendall's been pushing what what, what roman has been pushing even to some extent like shiv and her more like liberal leaning uh inclinations and policies like uh, all the kids are like you need to innovate and change and logan was like nah i don't know are you Really? Wow. That's something you say, isn't it? No, but I am excited. America. When I arrived, there were these gentle giants smelling of f***ing gold and milk. Hmm? They could do anything. Now look at them. Fat as f***. Scrawny on meth or yoga. They pissed it all away. <laughs> Waxing philosophical here. Go on. Talk to me. Well, I think we fit. Hmm. Your company and mine. The street loves us. We're we're a strong buy. We're up and we're staying there. Mm -hmm. And you, you have this uh, this fine and all this other bullshit. You're hurt. Maybe you're tired. So I make sense as the person to take over. Oh. Now, if if that's an option, if that's something you would consider, then let's talk. But if you want to tell me to go. F myself tell me to go fuck myself you're not fucking serious i would make everything that's the play he's like i'll step in as ceo this outsider nice for you i could pay you out or if you want control inside or outside oh, of the assets no. you love. that's not going over well no shot i would want you to maintain prestige i'm not about making you small it would be your board but i would structure it so fucking nice for you hmm I don't think Logan's gonna... you're not punching me in the nose. Dad? That's okay, son. No. I don't know. What are you thinking? I'm, I'm not telling you what I'm fucking thinking. Well, I know what you're fucking <laughs> thinking. You're thinking every bit of me wants to tell this slab of groblocks to go f himself. Except for the bit that knows that every word he says is true. This is the family thing, I get it. I, I, I appreciate the anxiety. And in terms of your son, he would be essential to the integration process. 100% crucial. Key element, the, the face of the family. As for the rest, your, uh, your top team, I'd, I'd be happy to assess each according to their abilities. Hmm. This is not happening. Ah. Uh, right. Well, rip, GG. No. It was worth asking, huh? You want to stick around for a bit? We can see if the old deal has a shape. You have that Israeli AI operation I might be interested in. Why not? Cool. Mm. You better get back. Huh? You know, your mom and all that. Yeah, yeah. My mom's getting remarried to a bowl of porridge, and it's all terribly moving, so I should probably... Damn. You've been dismissed. Ooh, this makes me nervous then. Now Logan and Madsen are going to have their own little one-on-one -on -one powwow that's so interesting that madsen came out swinging like that he was like what if here's what i would like ultimately and logan's like it's not gonna happen and madsen instead of being like okay well i guess it was it was what it was is what it is but now madsen's like well i guess let's revisit the the structure of the old deal and see 
see if we can still figure something out. Logan's been seeing writing on the wall, I feel like, for a while. He's got that look in his eye. You gotta consider options, Logan. How many different times can you refuse deals and, <laughs> and then keep on saying, we'll be fine, I'll figure it out. And if this old DOJ thing, no prison time, but literally they said a historic fine, like a fee. So even though they're a multi-billion dollar company, I can imagine that fee is uh, is up there. <laughs> and Romulus has been sent back, sent away. Big boys can talk it out. I'd be feeling salty too if I was him. He helped put the whole damn thing together. He got, he got the two of them sitting down. Oh, is it happening or not? Rome. Um, I was not alerted to this merger of equals possibility. Matson wants to deplatform guys like me. Round up the Maverick thinkers into his digital gulag. Um, if, if you don't mind. A rut row. I'm a little bit turned up about my big brother, so I can't really think about that shit now. Hello. Stars the chain. Sick. So what is this? Let's take a seat. What do we do? Are we having an intervention? Okay. Oh boy. I like his shades though. He's always got nice sunglasses, usually. So, we just wanted to get together to let you know that we love you. Uh-huh. What? Right? <laughs> I love you straight up. I mean, I suppose I don't want you to die. What is this? What's the angle? Very nice. No angle. We're worried that you consciously or subconsciously tried to... Are you trying to shut me down? Um, you kind of tried to kill yourself, dude, and that's not cool. Did he, I fell though? off an inflatable. Okay. Is this an intervention? Feels like it. Why do you get to do an intervention on me? Seriously? I mean, you need an intervention. They all need an intervention. It does have me thinking, though, if Kendall did it on purpose or not. I don't know. Because it looked like he was just drinking and then slowly kind of passed out. But we also know, again, there's that him and his relation to water and his mental state, right? And, like, literally, his mental state was at an all-time low right there. And then he just kind of, like, let himself, like, sink, sink into the water. Oh, did it? Was it on purpose? You need an intervention. You need an intervention. Yeah, totally. Yeah. yeah. Oprah but over you're here. You're kind of the top of the pile right now. We'll do me tomorrow. Yeah? Yeah, suicides jump from the line. I fell off my fucking floaty. You're an addict. You're addicted to booze and to drugs and relationships and sex and work and the family oh. drama. No, sorry. No. Shave I mean, on our high horse. Here. I, I, I don't see it. They're not wrong. He does need, like, help and he does need a detox. Coming from them, like, on one hand, yes, siblings, a place, a place of love. Cool. Yeah, hunky-dory. But, like... It's it's quite, it's the pot calling the kettle black. It's like it's they they all need like counseling and therapy and help and for them to be like, well, you're, I think you're the top of the list right now. It's just like okay, like this little committee of public fucking safety and fuck off. You need to stop trying to kill Pop. Okay, you're selfish, you're self-centered. Connor, can just what? Just I'm not allowed to say my piece. No, you can just let me lead. Yeah. What? Oh, sure. Yeah. A diplomat over here. Okay, okay, look. I hear you. But I just, I, I feel like everything I've done has been with good intentions. And I, I do think this is actually about all of you and your shit more than me. So it sounds like I'm, I'm, I'm being defensive when I'm not. I'm, I'm, I'm saying I'm hearing you. Mm -hmm. But it's like, do you have any idea how it feels? as the eldest son to be you know, promised something. And then I, as the eldest son, is he saying that to like, to spite Connor or to try to relate to him? <laughs> Connor is the, Connor is the eldest son and he always gets this treatment. And, you know, just have it taken. Yeah, true man. I'm the eldest son. That's what I'm saying. What's up? Connor's the eldest, the eldest son. Well, yeah, obviously, Con, but you know what he means. I am the eldest son. Yeah. And no one told me about this fucking merger of fucking equals. And what if I want to take over because I am the eldest son? All right. True. It's easy, Con. Yeah. Yeah. I'm the eldest okay. son. Okay. No, 100%. And he's 100% fucking justified in saying this. I would be so tired of this by now like everybody always is so quick to dump on connor but even right there so casually ken can be like oh as the eldest son he's like no go f yourself i'm the i'm the eldest son like i'm the firstborn i'm the eldest son Whoa. and i must be considered and i need to be taken into account con we're, we're True. talking about what i actually lost shut up 
What, you're hurt? I didn't see Pop for three years. But your spoon wasn't shiny enough, huh? What? It is not all about you. I thought you loved me. Asshole. I do love you. I love all three of you pricks. But what do I get from you chumps but chump change? can chump change. True. Well, fuck you. Preach. Preach, Connor. Preach. I'm here for your mom's wedding, and I proposed to my fiance. And no one has said congratulations. No one takes him seriously. No one. But I am the eldest son of our father. I am. Amen. I am. Amen. <laughs> Amen, dude. Dude, as silly as Connor can be, and he has his faults, they all have their faults, but he is 100% justified, to, in my mind, to this claim right here, 100%. With, even with Roman, right, with Romulus, like, people joke and poop on him all the time, but they, they, they take him seriously enough to an extent where they, like, factor him in on a lot of the family goings ons and relationships and business but like connor when they had when he had him in the room and was like what about connor for president like connor's always just like his role in the family is typically a punchline and i i would be so I, i'm glad that he finally is, is saying something about it he's like it's true ken you got your stuff going on to deal with and all that but don't act as if like you're the only one suffering here like ken's kind of flawed in that respect like he he has a lot going on but like they all do and especially connor and nobody ever considers connor Amen, brother. He is him. Off. Will okay, Con? Yeah, yeah. Sorry about the tossing and turning. I just couldn't get the AC right, you know? The AC, yeah. Sure. Plus, my family hates me. I'm gonna lose ATN to a goddamn Swede, so my campaign is fucked, and you're gonna leave me. And I love you. So, yeah. Yeah, that and the AC. <laughs> you're a nice man. Right. Thanks. You know what? F it. Really? F it. Let's get married. As as in. F it. Come on. How bad can it be? Right. Bro, that's gonna be your. That's the entry to your wedding. Will you marry me? F it. How bad could it be? <laughs> I mean, I guess she's not a complete idiot because she she knows very well what this will do for her life and will continue to provide and support for her and give her access to. But I mean, I also, she maybe doesn't hate the man. <laughs> yeah, why not? You know, we'll have fun. Why not? It, right? <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> Good. Sure, let's, let's do this. It forever. <laughs> Literally. Well, so be it. Sure, you know what? More power to him. More power to him. A Roy wedding without at least one proposal is considered a dull affair. Oh, hey, look at that. A whole, the whole kitten caboodle came over to skadoodle, huh? How are spirits? Like his, uh, how's his blood sugar? Yeah, he's amazing as always. Oh, yeah, of course. <laughs> I, I like Frank still, but, uh, I can't with Carl. <laughs> like, cool. Uh, yeah, it's, it's like discount Chalamet. I don't know. I, I got the vibe. Is the deal good? Yeah. Oh, it will be revealed. You yeah. don't know Jack. Do oh, hey, there's our boy. One last check with Mom. Girl, we're about to go in. Hi. Hey, Peter. Hi. Yeah. Good luck. Good luck. You're not sure if he's the one. I'm worried about the prenup, okay? She has a prenup. She had her, yes, she had her lawyer look at it because she wants to keep the, the London flat that dad gave her. What if he pushes her down the stairs to get this flat he so desires? Oh, my oh, God. Yeah. And what if worse? He f***s her with his dick. Okay. Do you mind chatting with Comfrey? I want to check in on the princess. Check the in on princess? the princess? No, I thought she was a contessa. Yeah, oh but I guess God. through her dad, Greg. she's like in line for the throne of Luxembourg. Eighth in line? Greg, you marry her, you plane crash away from becoming Europe's weirdest king. <laughs> Don't be silly. Dude, you off a couple of hemophiliacs and you'll be the king of Luxembourg. Oh you sound like a fancy cookie. I feel like Greg's character arc is just going to be a rise and a rise and fall story of how like he he has good things that are going to be going for him, and then do he is so easily influenced and swayed that he's going to latch onto these crazy ideas, try to yeah become a king now, <laughs> Sue Greenpeace, and he's going to go down in flames, and as they're dragging him away in cuffs, he's like, oh, I didn't know. I, uh. It's actually a grand duchy. <laughs> 
It's something to do with the Congress of Vienna. It's, I guess, really complicated. She doesn't like to talk about it, although we do talk about it quite a bit. I thought she was just an oh, influencer. See, now, Roman. Get in there, Greg. If Roman marries oh, wait. her, he'll invade France. Or is this a different woman? Oh, my God. <laughs> I can with all this. Oh, there's our little assistant. Stepmommy. She keeps giving him these... She specifically, I maybe I'm reading too much into it. Can you imagine if she was poisoning him? But uh, he's drinking these health health shakes now, huh? Gotta love it. You get older. Trading the whiskey, the bourbon for the. I'll send you regrets. Oh, Marsh is here at least. Carrie, I won't eat down there. I will take my omelet in my room. In my return, of course, I'll let them know. Thank you. Interesting. Does that mean she's not making it or Logan's not making it? Peter, I think you better face it that Logan is not going to make it. Ah, uh, Logan's the might one. Have to just make do with me, sorry. <laughs> How about that? Again, a floral number. Well, Logan's also in the middle of the Gojo merger, so... Business-wise, it makes sense, but also, I mean, would he have been here otherwise anyway? I mean, he almost didn't attend Shiv's wedding out of spite, so... When they come past, you should tell Mom you love her. Oh. <laughs> We're telling the reason they can't be married because she's the only one who makes her son's pee pee go bum bum. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. Yeah, okay, really leaning into this, huh, Shiv? Mm -hmm. Trying to get under his skin, get in his head. Yeah. Timothy Mungo Munyon and Caroline Alexandra Helena St. John. Oh, is Willie really getting emotional? She's really feeling it, huh? I love weddings. Me too. Jesus, what a sham. Oh my god. I'm coming now. is <laughs> literally. He's turning into a piece of shit, playing both sides, literally whispering in one, whispering in another. Greg, stop. Just end up with the assistant. She's cute and she's great, and you could have, you could be happy. But no, you're you're gonna be a silly little, a silly little banana about it. Uh, my mom. Oh, has, Mid Selmar? What is this? Has asked me to say a few words. Oh Just boy. A second. Speech, and speech, the speech. The first words that came to mind were. Uh, no. What, bitch? <laughs> right, so what can I say about my mom? <laughs> well, she's been a constant in my life. Constant pain in the... Uh, but mm -hmm. I love her anyway, <laughs> which I guess is testament to what a remarkable and complicated and interesting person that she is. Great loaded speech. And I have no doubt, Peter, that you will never be bored in the brief time that you're married. <laughs> That. Uh, but in all seriousness, there is no one like my mom, and I am jealous of the time that you get to spend with her. I hope that your marriage is as rich and happy, rewarding and fulfilling as mine. So well, I'm sure to, he'll be uh, right up the there. bride and groom. Equal, yeah. The bride and groom. Oh, Marsha, what's I up? Think, uh, do you think she knows something? 100%. Marsha's not an idiot. Mm -hmm. I mean... What if it's all falling apart? Yeah. Oh, you mean about the bad. merger? So why is he here? Oh, relax. It's uh, it's cool beans. Since when do you say cool beans? What? You don't have a f***ing clue, do you? Mm. Hmm? Hey, hey, hey. Hey. Hey, uh, firstborn. Hey, I, listen, I think we should uh, say sorry. For... No, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Forget about it. Mm hmm Sure. Forgotten. Hey, <laughs> Roro is so stressing. So she's going to get married to the greatest gal in the world. <laughs> no. Oh, she said yes. Right, you finally ground her down, huh? Congrats, man. <laughs> yeah. And um, it's more of attrition. Also, oh, she's been talking to Carrie. Yeah. Do you know where her dad is? Uh, she's sandbagging. But do you know what this is? That is another dried penis from one of the great men of history. Correct. Lol. No, maca root for Dad's smoothie. He's working on his baby batter. What's that? Maca root, almond mm. butter. Dad's. Putting together a more adhesive and potent loop. Working on his fing his jism? Are yes. You, are you going with me right no. now? No. I mm, all right. I either Connor is reading too much into this and he's drinking it for his like smoothies, or literally he <laughs> dude <laughs> Logan. Oh my god. Logan's a dinosaur and he wants to have like another kid. He's like, well, I, <laughs> fool me four times. Shame on me, I guess. What? Look at all the walnuts no he's been shot. munching. He's gonna be rocking sperms like a little catfish. Oh uh, my f <laughs> Dad's scrambling the fighters. You no, know, if you don't tangle with the root unless you're firing up the siege engines. Uh, Jesus, I feel ill. Do ya? I guess he really doesn't rate you guys. Huh? Damn. Thanks. Anyway, thought I'd tell you. Thank you. Nice. Appreciate it. Okay, the well, disruptor. we're going to kill this baby. What's going on? Dad cranking up the trebuchet. You know, trying for a baby. 
What? Mm. <laughs> maybe that's what he's doing right now. Well, maybe we should get cracking. Space race. What, you two? Space you race. No, 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 no. I know for a fact stop. that she cannot get pregnant because if she could, she would have, that would happen by now. She has had a lot of sex with a lot of men. I just heard that Larry Van Zetart's PJ landed at Lunate and that he's headed to Lake Maggiore. What? Larry Van Zetart? Who's that? Matson, that means financing. Why would Matson, oh. yeah, why would Matson need financing for an all stock deal? And Greg has been contacted by some assistants. Greg has. Greg. Yeah, so let's split up and pool, okay? Wait, no. Okay. Oh my god, is Greg actually... Wait, what is Greg doing? I mean, is Greg technically still on the team? Wait, if Greg's being contacted, is it because he's trying to get an in with royalty over here? I... Oh my god, there's so many moving parts. Well, yeah. Get out of town. To this could be this. any number of things. I think it's fine. I'm gonna hit Carrie. No. Could you, um... Roman's Marcia, out of the loop. Yeah. There's Logan's doing I mean, his own I thing right I now. I guess I feel better by giving a lot Greg. of... Greg. Not Greenpeace. No. Friends of the Earth. I have some beef with Greenpeace. Oh boy, here uh, we long go. Long story, but they're bad. You have one guy in Greenland just cashing checks and eating penguins and stomping cigarettes out on glaciers. Feel free to cut him dead, by the way. He's what's called in our land an irrelevant pauper. No, no de no. No de no? No de no, my friend. Uh. He's widely known. Uh, I, I'm widely I, known? I think you'd agree, oh. Oh. Roman, that you're a self admitted. Uh, oh? Sorry, I don't know how you- Craig's about to go toe-to-toe, -to -toe, huh? You say this in your language, but, uh, but a, uh, uh, a sexual pervert. Funny guy. Heard that you may have been getting some tremors on the assistant loop. Is this true? Yeah. Uh, a call went out on Lackey Slack because there are a number of advisors in town from Lion Tree, apparently, and they don't like the feel of the hard Italian pillows. <laughs> so that's a, it's a private chat. Yeah, so. Lackey Thank Slack. You. An app for all the bottom, like the the bottom of the totem, lackey slack. It's like, hey, there's some big wigs in town. Uh, can we get some? Uh, anybody know the lowdown on a good uh, pillow connection? I haven't seen. When's the last time that I saw Kendall smoking? Too many people are talking with each other right now. Making me anxious. And they go try to get the inside line from Jerry, huh? Hey, excuse me. Uh, oh, what did you say close. to Jerry just now? Um, nothing. Oh. Nothing. And uh, why are you lying? Did he tell you to lie? Well, I have no idea what you're talking about. Of course not. Great. Are you trying to have a baby with my dad? Because that's an incredibly stupid idea. Hey. It'll be born old. Attached <laughs> to a walker. So uh, there's a bunch of new M&A advisors in Kinchano, and I think Carl and Frank are in Europe. Are we being f***ed? Mm -hmm. Carl? Sounds you're like right. it. Hey, Carl, how you doing? Where are you, man? At the office? In your office? Great, well, I'll leave you to get on with your office job then, you mother f***er. Marsha, anything? Uh, no. She's throwing out bullshit. Did you see uh, Jerry? What? Dude, moves are being made in the entire- All the Roy kids are out of the loop. I should probably say, in terms of the meeting, um, Matson did float as an idea that maybe they buy us. <laughs> mm -hmm. Uh-huh. Uh... -huh. uh and what did Dad say? Fuck off. Mm-hmm. <laughs> he stuck around? Yep. But he stuck around. He stuck around, yeah. Jesus Christ. Oh, no. Can you tell me this earlier? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no. Uh, we might need to talk company stuff. I don't... Dude, I'm not interested. Dude, what if season four is like all the kids are having to like, oh, what if this is my only what Ken wanted from the start? What if it's like now that everybody's in jeopardy and in peril, now the kids are all going to fight Papa Dragon? Oh, dude. Five minutes, please. Just we need your line to Frank or Stewie, maybe. Kendall, I wouldn't ask if it wasn't important. OK. You can get in the war room. Let's do this. Shit's assembling the troops. Blood in the water. Everybody with the hands and the hips. Okay, well, dad is doing us dirty, right? Can you not make it a thing right away? Okay, we actually don't, we don't know yet. Matson pitched to dad the idea of them eating us, but I think he was flying a kite. Dad kind of shut it down. Once again, interesting how didn't even think about Connor. Connor not even remotely included in this conversation. Just furthers his point. Okay, he kind of shut it down because the moment ago he told him to f off. 
Okay, well, look, Larry Vansittart is in Switzerland with Matson, so he's looking for financing. Dad is huddled with Carl and Frank. Mm -hmm. Our market caps have tipped. The local town's been bought out by a new set of advisors. Something has flipped. Dad would never sell, would he? Hey, asshole, Dad would never sell, right? I don't know. I mean, would he? And if he did, would we get, I don't know, uh, would we get protection? You guys just do this without me? Yeah, I, I, I don't want to get into it. Do you have an angle on this? Are you speaking with Matson? <laughs> oh, no. Uh, Laird has called me, so what's that? Oh. Ken. Ken. Oh, I have a sit, man. Can we talk? <laughs> There's a lot going on. Oh, Shit, what? I'm not here. Jeez, what a dichotomy hey, of the siblings right now. Hey, you okay? No. What did something really wrong with me, Shiv? Oh. I don't know what the f is wrong with me. Uh, it's okay. It's me wondering if he saw those guys taking out the trash as like the uh, what do you call them, the concierge or the just the uh, the service workers. If seeing that made him, I mean, I imagine him seeing that made him immediately think of the kid, right? I'm, I'm just, uh, I'm not feeling very connected to my children or my endeavors right now. I can't get one thing right with another, you know? I don't know what happened. I tried to do something. I, I, I really, I, I tried. I know, you fucked it. What? <laughs> Fuck you. Well, that's what happened, yeah. I took a shot. It didn't matter. It's but... just business, okay? Like... Everything just sort of got mixed up. I thought I had an out. I could see it. I could... I could see the way markers. I thought I could take us all out of it. I did... I did try. Mm-hmm. I'm not a good person. Well, whatever. I'm, You're fine. I don't think any of you are good people, necessarily. I'm... I'm bad. Lighten up, Glum Glum. Great. Great stuff. I killed a kid. Hmm? Huh? What? What? I killed a kid, and yeah, they're they're coming for me. They're gonna come for me. Uh, is this real? What the? F At your wedding. What? Okay, this is it. The kid. Confessions. Here we go. That kid. Uh, you mean the waiter kid? The. I was high, and I was looking for to score, and I was drunk. I was f***ed up, but I drove, and he saw something, and he snatched at the wheel, and we went into the water, and then I left him in there and ran. Okay, Holy uh, shit. Let's, we gotta get you, come on, let's... It's f***ing lonely. Oh. <laughs> I'm all apart. I mean, if it pleases the court. Sounds like you didn't kill him. It yeah. Sounds to me like manslaughter. He killed him. Rome, I'm a piece of shit, man. But the road in the water killed him. That's what it sounds like. No, nah, man. Props to yeah. Roman for trying to. No, like... seriously. I mean, you crashed and then what? You did? You ran? No, no. I mean, you tried to I look. I tried to get him. You did? Okay. See, that's. I, I dived a few times. This sounds like the story of a hero to me. I would have been straight out of there. Huh. Serious, I would have been out of that water like a tabby cat out of a bath. I mean, he did try to go Don't back man. in. Oh, it's, it, it, it's very telling how he's like, oh, this is a hell of a, th I didn't, I, this came out of right field. I did not think a confession was coming. Him confessing just like that. And then very telling, Shiv is just kind of absorbing and quiet, which makes me s nervous and scared because Shiv is all about power right now and could very easily use this against him. But, I mean, like, Roman in the moment, he's, like, he's immediately offering, like, placations. I mean, it's Roman being not a great person. He also, same thing happened with Roman with his rocket ship. Like, nobody died, but, like, limbs were, <laughs> limbs and uh, digits were lost. But, uh, I mean, this is, this is tricky because... 
it's good that Ken is going through this and he needs to take responsibility for like the, the manslaughter that occurred. But at the same time, the situation was, he's culpable for it, obviously. Oh, man, I'm a, I'm a killer. Bullshit, come on. At worst, you're, you're an irresponsibler. Okay, Whoa. you're bigging yourself up. But now it all I makes don't know, sense you guys. for, for Shiv and I don't know. Roman, maybe. I'm blown into a million pieces. Okay, we gotta get you out of here. Going back to the chapel, stuff him in a confessional, that'll fix it. <laughs> Are we together on this? Are the siblings banding together? Oh, just one minute. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Take that call. Leave me here with all the feelings. Thank you. Jesus, this is a lot right now. Who hasn't clipped the odd kid with a Porsche, am I right? <laughs> I mean, it's like a rite of passage. Jesus. I killed a kid, too. Big deal. Chip! You've killed the kid, right? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Man, you my wedding in so many ways. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's so dark. You know, one waiter down, that makes sense. It took me forever to get a fucking drink at her wedding. Please, man. <laughs> okay, I, yeah. I can't do it. <laughs> Just say. <laughs> one it's, it's, I love it. I love it. Gala. Dark humor. It's 100% the joke that I'd be making. I'm just like, man, one waiter down explains why my drink took so long. Oh, it's so dark. Oh, my God. You're right. I guess I'm just trying to say, like, who's the real victim here? I waited three quarters of an hour for a gin and tonic. <laughs> Shut up, dude. Okay. As dark and twisted as that uh, is and wrong, okay. it's, like, somehow Sorry sweet and endearing. Say this, Ken, but confirmed. Laird is inside the deal, but he's been cucked out of the lead, so he's bitter and bleeding. Gojo buys Waystar. Holy shit. They pay a premium, dad cashes out, cash and stock. Uh, he keeps maybe a title. What a hypocrite. What an absolute hypocrite. What a hypocrite. Preaching, preaching for decades and years, and in this case, seasons. Preaching about keeping it in the family, and the power, and the control, and not letting the kids have it. And then just like that, oh my god. Uh, but, and takes a few assets, but it's Matson's fucking board. Can we trust that? Is that real? Kendall, I know this isn't ideal, but we have to talk about this now. Like, I'll call the car, let's just get the fuck out of here. Jesus. <laughs> oh. Uh, uh. Where do you want to wait? Uh, can I can I be with you guys? Yes. yes. Okay. Dude. The, the weight off his chest, though, to tell somebody about it, though, and in this case, to be able to tell his siblings and for them to accept it in stride. I think it helps that there's a lot of pokers in the fire right now, or however the expression goes, but it's the best thing I can recommend, by the way, whenever you've done something wrong, especially as someone who, like, on again, off again, suffering from depression for the better part of a decade. I used to think that sharing was pointless, right? That talking about the issues wouldn't solve them. Because in my mind, I would just be offloading onto somebody else. Believe it or not, putting words to the feelings, even if it doesn't solve the issue, it does substantially feel better to just put it out there, to share it with somebody, preferably if it's somebody you're close to, uh, or an unbiased therapist, you know, third party. But it's... It's, it's not going to solve anything by, a, by any means. And I'm not excusing what he did. Obviously, what happened wasn't cool, wasn't right. <laughs> but I'm glad at least that like a percentage of that that anxiety snake wrapping around his insides, as uh, Zoe Ash would say. I'm glad that's been kind of alleviated, even partially for him. But it's good. That's I'm glad that he got it off his chest. I'm glad that he and they're there for him. <laughs> Nuggies and all. <laughs> It's their awkward, weird way of sibling love. Still, Connor, okay, once so again, out of the loop. We gotta go stop this. How? So we go see him and we tell him we just won't have it, right? How's that gonna work out? I mean, good luck. Wrong. Okay. Oh, he's he's nervous, though. I mean, Shiv is on the warpath. Ken is just kind of down at his all-time low right now. And Ra Roman's, I mean, he's not feeling great either. 
How is this even gonna go? I'm gonna barge in there and tell this him the rumors. So I will need to talk to him directly, just me. You think you're close to him? You're just his little rapper. I'm just saying, as a matter of fact, that Dad and I have been working closely lately, and I don't want to go in too aggressive. I'm not uh, busting in there crying Team Shiv, okay? We don't know how this is going to play out just yet. You think Daddy's protecting you? Hmm? No, we let Matson take control. That is Dad slamming the door. It means that he doesn't ever think that we will, can, or should take over. I just don't think we should be aggressive. I mean, can we even actually stop him? Yes. A change of control needs a supermajority in the holding company. Mom got us that in a divorce. We need us on board. Right. Well, it's going to be a I'm hard sell. I want to pull out a move like that. Maybe I just stick with what I got. Maybe you're just what? scared. Hard drive full of dick pics. The same thing that happened in the vote no confidence is that he had his chance and he's scared of his father. They all are Jeez. to an extent. I think with dad pulling the strings. Where do you think we fit on Matson's new org chart, Rome? He'll Roman of you, take you to the cellar, and that's that. Rome, you know dad is never going to choose you because he thinks there's something wrong with you. True. He's not going to choose sorry, any of you. Maybe it's time that we said these things to each other instead of just talking it all out to Vanity Fair. And the holding company move. If we do that, that's real. He can't sanction a deal without us. That's legal fact. Block him and he's f***ed. Okay, so... Time to rip off the band-aid. We push him out. We get him on his own. And we say, you're in retract. We say, shareholder meeting. Right, he nearly f***ing croaked at Josh's. Yeah, he's out of it. He's f***ing a 20-year-old and he's planning for babies in jars. You know, he's gone loopy and he, he's tried to sell the shop. So, I mean, even just... Assistant. We tell the board that he's toast. We push him out. Full coup. Mm -hmm. this, yeah. is what, this is what Ken was wanting. Slide him out. Say, Ken, chair? Uh, this is not a bad... Mm, I'm really nervous because we don't have all the facts yet. We do not have all the facts in the case. And Logan wouldn't do something like this unless, unless old Papa Dragon had a plan. But this is, it almost worked in season one. Vote no confidence. If he had gotten enough people, it would have worked. All of them against and at each other's throats. All f qu like quarreling and squibbling with each other. Like that's exactly what Logan wants because there's no unity. But theoretically, with the familial unity right here, this is if they have the, if it's, if it's Ken's, what Ken's saying is true and they can all get on board with the same plan. But I mean, I'm sure that even if they tried, Logan will bring out the old, the old daddy card one more time and try to. I I'm making a lot of guesses here, but let's see. Let's just see how it plays out. You or me, Rome, CEO, and the other one takes whatever they want, like studio, movies, TV, the streamer, but you know, equal. Okay, but really equal, really equal. If we do this, I don't want you two cunts trying to big brother me out of my fucking piece, okay? And I like how all this is being workshopped real quick in a van on the way to the confrontation. Like, <laughs> unscheduled meeting, a five-minute little powwow sesh, and they just hashed out just like that. The fate of a multi-billion dollar company just every time it happens like this, too. It's hilarious. No, we can fight it out. It'll, it'll be fun. <laughs> that will be fun. <laughs> oh, no. We can take Mussolini away in a van to the hospital, take over the radio stations. Oh, fuck. I mean, I kind of like the idea of the kids working together. I do think that even though this literally makes me want to vomit, I want to kill you both every day and it's all going to end horribly. I do think that we puke could make a pretty good team. So how do we feel about killing dad? Next feelings? He's about to get shotgun. Okay. <laughs> he's about to kill. This is true. He's about to kill the whole thing. He's about to say, "Screw my family. I'm doing this and cashing out." He said, "Pass me the shotgun." Okay. Oh my God! I don't know about this, dude. Oh, there's only so much time left in the episode. Well, on this is me layering you in, but I can't talk about this right now because it's complicated and I don't have time. Oh and also, you're God. a little bit slow. Yeah. Thanks for talking. I just want to triple check the holding company by yeah. the we have a weapon. Veto on the chain to control it. It's from the divorce. So stop that and the deal collapses. He's impotent. We're going to force him out. I like it when they work together, though. That's the thing. They're not really good people and they're very flawed and they're just these out of touch rich kids. But again, we spend so much time with them. We see the humanity and these scene it's so well acted and these scenes are so well done that I cannot help but root for them to come together and do some power moves. And also, it's fun. It's fun to watch these corporate power plays happen. Where do I fit in, Chef? 
well, high up, Tom. I don't know. It, we'll figure it out, though. There's a lot going on. No, sure. Uh, hi? But Tom, once we do it right away, we're going to offer him a medical card. Secure the Imperial Guard. Tell him that he needs to take some rest. And source to us kids, we'll get ATN to confirm. Good luck. Say, like, uh, founder of Logan Roy Ailing. Uh, prayers to the big man, thinking of taking a step back. So we can cite you as sources, yeah? Yeah. No, we'll stand it up. Oh man. Get ready, okay. Even have the news cut the okay. news coverage Good angle luck. and everything. What the fuck? Bye. They got the whole plan. Oh dude, sun's getting real low, huh? He's in. Heart's just like thumping in that car right now. Dude, this hey, is real. Tony. Are you looping in, Greg? Hey. 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 Say hello to someone who could be Logan's ex-wife's step cousin in law and heir apparent to the grand duchy of luxembourg oh my god 12 times removed or greg so. chill and potential count of somewhere and legitimate claimant to the dormant throne of italy bro you're We're crazy you're crazy she's having an existential crisis about her personal branding and i'm right in there to wheedle away oh my what god comfrey might be helping her refresh her personal branding and i i don't actually think she's that into me it's a guilt-free switch up case closed oh my god greg i i give you credit in only one way once again devious dog he went from being like a loser in a mascot costume like smoking joints and getting fired at like amusement parks to now he's trying to then climbing his way up the corporate ladder to being involved in corporate scandals now he's schmoozing and trying to get into royalty like craig <laughs> things may be in motion as in is anyone going to jail? No. LOL. Do you want to come with me? Shaky ass camera Spores. right now. Spores. Can I ask for a little more information? No. Mm -hmm. Don't think so. Greg goes where the wind need takes you him. As my attack dog. Oh my god. Right. Like uh, Greg likes Greg Weiler. Power mm. in the pursuit <sighs> of it. Tom's attack dog. I have Bright Star Buffalo in my hip pocket. I'm kind of a big deal. So. <laughs> <laughs> you f***ed yourself before Congress, Greg. I don't recall, Your Honor. I don't recall. You're a f***ing joke, man. Who has ever looked after you in this f***ing family? I mean, low-key. Right. Well, in terms of... Low-key? Where I could be getting to if I were to come with? You could be heading away from the endless middle and towards the bottom of the top. <laughs> towards bottom the, the top. bottom of the top. Hey, totem pole's got to start somewhere, man. And could I get my own, my own, like your own Greg? Yeah. You can have twenty. <laughs> Do you want a deal with the devil? Oh my God, Greg can't resist. What am I gonna do with a soul, anyways? Bro, <laughs> what kind of? Oh my, wherever, wherever the wind blows, this kid is just like, he's a kite. This kid is a kite. That's what he is. Souls are boring. <laughs> souls Ooh, are souls. <laughs> souls are boring. Of course. This kid's arc has been turning from a wet noodle into literally like, like a, a paper mache kite. Sure. Why not? Because why not? Soulless Greg. Connor is president. Oh, dude, is the, yeah, the sun's, sun's down. Back to the fortress for the final confrontation. Good luck, kids. Let's see how this goes. You can handle this? Been basically planning it since we were four. Oh. What if Dad flares his eyelids at you, Ron? You gonna melt? Me? Like usual? No. As long as you guys don't go water pistols in Bali. Water pistols in Bali? <laughs> yeah, water pistols in Bali. When you were all gonna go squirt Dad under the canopy, I went in and you slapped me for dead. Damn. I don't recall. Of course you don't. Hey, Is that Colin? Oh. Chef Roy, <laughs> we're going in. Danny! Oh my God, the war room. Oh, you haven't seen him. That's convenient. You haven't seen him. Got to be in there. We're Colin, Guys. big man. Hey, we're going in. Oh. Send them in. <laughs> Show. Oh shit! Here we go. Good luck. Hey. hey. Oh, the oh, buffalo oh. room. Here oh, we go. What's all this then? Hi. Hi, everyone. Hi. Hey, Carl. A2 Brute. Uh, we're just feeling a little out of the loop, Dad. Oh, of course. Things have moved very fast. Come in, come in, come in. Um, How's he going to sell it, huh? Yeah, we're hearing rumors about Gojo. Yeah, that uh, we might be the target now. Is that right, Dad? OK, I've been looking at some options. Right. We might be affected, our positions, so we wanted to get some clarity. 
Absolutely. But do you mind not with him in here giving me the fucking doggy evils? It is. It's always interesting to see how, like, every time there's ever an encounter with Thought, like, I, the, the tension already is, like, mounting. And I love how, like, the lead-up to it is always everybody is so charged with fervor, but then you get in the room with Logan, and suddenly it's all so very different. Can you take him out, Romulus? I'll fill in your sister and give you the angles. I don't trust him. Come on, Rom. Come on, this is your chance. Roman. And this together. You can tell us together, Dad. I thought we had this figured out. Yeah, it just might be better, you know, if we all hear. Okay. So the market capitalizations of our firms have been on the move. Ours is a declining business. There's a wave of consolidations happening that mean this is the optimal moment, in my opinion, uh, <laughs> to make a deal with a serious tech operation like Gojo. What happened to climate denier? You, you bastard. And that's what I've been exploring, okay? Okay, so I would say, uh, on behalf of all of us, uh, can you ease up and let us in, stop this, until we see exactly how we're impacted? No, it has to be now. Why? Because I feel it in my bones. Oh, wow, <laughs> no arguing with that, huh? End of the day, that's all I've fucking got. Well, you know that's bullshit. Look, this is the best moment to sell. If I don't do the best deal at any given point, what's the point of anything? I don't get out. I leave five billion on the table. Come on, Dad. What are you going to do with the five bill? Put it on your pile with all your other fucking bill? Mm hmm. Probably. Yeah. <laughs> and what are we supposed to do? Make your own fucking pile. I know this is a readjustment, but our blood's in the water, and I need to make moves fast in order to control the situation and get myself and you assurances for the future. Dad, once Matson is calling the shots, we're fucked. No, nah, he rates you. And this is an opportunity nah. for you kids to get an education. Oh, here we go. In real life. With you at the top, we can take over, but without you, we're fucked. Come on, Roland. Let's get away from these fucking Jacobins. I've got you. Come on, let's discuss. Hey, Dad, I, I know what he said. I was there, but um, really, with Matson calling the shots, we're, we're strung up in the town square. No. He rates you. You have my word. But your word's not worth this anything. This is an opportunity, son. A bit of fucking grit. Adversity. Like me. Shut you up. You can trust me. You can't trust him. Come on, Rom. Um, oh, my man is shaking in his boots. We're here to say, the three of us, to ask and to say... Do not do this, please. Good. All right. Props. Stood up to him. And what if I decide I can't listen to you? We can stop you. And we will stop you. Blow this up. You need our vote for a change of control. Yeah. You need all of us. You need a supermajority, and we can kill it. You're playing toy fucking soldiers. <laughs> Go on. Fuck off. I have you beat, you morons. Wow, yeah. Well, no, because you need a supermajority oh, that well, only no, goes... because I need a supermajority to bring you <laughs> What a cuck. Is she still on? It's all done. Oh, yeah. what, his ace in the hole? Uh, yeah. Caroline, you're on with Roman, Kendall, and Siobhan. Hi, Mom. Mom? Your mother and I have been reviewing the terms of the divorce agreement. Oh, um, no, fucked us. and we've agreed no shot. that the arrangements were a little antiquated. Oh, fuck, mom, he got to you. Oh, seriously, mom, already? What the fuck no, did you? I can't get into it, all right? <laughs> I think everything will be fine. Mom, you just slid our throats. Please don't be angry. I think this is for the best. Peter's so excited. Oh, Peter, is he? huh? Peter's excited. Great. I'm not sure it's been good for you, all of you know. I'm sorry. I'm wow. Sorry. I love you all. Bye. Oh, we just walked in on mom and dad fucking us. Thank you, Caroline. <laughs> I knew it. I knew he'd have an ace in the hole. Dad, please. 
Please? Please. The seat sniffer gets a fucking leg up. That's a deal. What have you got in your fucking hand? I don't know. Fucking love? Love? You come for me with love. You bust him here, guns in hand, and now you find they've turned to fucking sausages. You talk about love? Jesus. You should have trusted me. <laughs> Dad, why? Why? Because it works. I fucking win. Oh, go on, go on, fuck off, you nosy fucking pedestrians. Dad? <gasps> hey. <laughs> what an animal. Who the fuck told him? Who told him that we were coming? Jerry, 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 Jerry. He's not well. You can help us, right? You can help us stop him? Well, I'm focused on whatever outcome best serves the financial interests of the shareholders of the company. But it doesn't serve my interests. How does it serve my interests? Wow. <laughs> All snakes. No, Tom. Tom didn't. Was it Tom? Hey, Chef. You okay? Hey. Did Tom squeal? Yeah. Wow. Mom does. What? Kids are completely cut out. If that's what I take it to mean. Wow. Jesus. Jesus. <laughs> so what, season four is going to be the, the try to fight it? I, <laughs> bro, that's the end of the season. It's like, ah, that's it. You kids thought you had a plan. All mom, huh? Jesus, what a, wow. Surprise, Logan and mama didn't stay with each other. They're perfect for one another. It's not a unique insight, but sometimes when you say the unsayable thing, you realize it wasn't that unsayable. Jokes often bring a new way of looking at things, and it seemed true and right that quite quickly that someone like Roman starts making jokes, and there's something terrible about that, but there's something liberating as well. Literally I what I, I literally what I say. Like, Kendall sees that it's not something that's the end. Some things will continue, including a relationship and even love from his siblings. There's a bit like that that I really like from. Um, I mean, I love. Stephen King's works, but I think specifically in the in the the Doctor Sleep book, the character of Danny grows up and becomes a severe alcoholic, and he's worried of becoming like his father. There's some things that he does basically when he's an addict on the streets, and he carries the guilt with it for years and years. Toward the end of the book, it's it almost brings a tear to the eye. He finally, in like in a in a support group, like an AA or whatnot, confesses, and it's almost as and they just they take it and they move on. And they take it, it's almost like his is such a low sin compared to some of the at like the crazy stuff they've done. They've done like because he hears everybody else's stories and then he has this moment of realization where he's like, man, I've been holding on to this and it's not good what I did. But this I mean, this is like nothing. And this is everybody's done stuff like this, if not worse, that's in the same group that I'm in. And it's like the same thing here. It's once you speak it into being and it you kind of also kind of adds some like some further context basically but it's very liberating roman has the most difficult decision because his position through the season has changed and the way he feels valued by his dad has changed you know kendall's already declared as an antagonist shiv finds that's how she feels when the prospect of losing the company arises there's always been the feeling of what if we could all go in and fire the water pistol together if we could all say the same thing at once what would happen and they finally did and i'm so proud of them for at least attempting and doing so and seeing the unity and seeing after like two seasons later romulus not crumbling under pressure and it still hurt and they came out wounded and now they're in very bad shape but props to him for at least having the the spine to stand up in that moment when he said he would and when i mean he honestly should have exhilarating power and it's quite intoxicating if i look at the arc of this season from the chaos at the end of episode two and there we are episode nine and the siblings however damaged found their way back together for the first time really since their teenage years i think 
I came into the scene really anxious to find our way through these pivotal moments of uh, the, the first one for me, where Roman is having to face the dragon to face his father and to stand up to his father, which of course he palpably failed to do if we look back at season one, episode six. There's a question about why, you know, when in the first season he wasn't able to raise his hand and why is he able to now? Some people would see growth. I'm on the fence about human beings and people certainly change what they do, but in my view, people's essential selves don't change. In a way, that's what makes drama and choices interesting. So I, I would say that the circumstances around Roman have changed. He feels this weight of support that makes it possible for him to be a full sibling. That's true. That's actually true. You know, I could be swayed in that direction. Uh, not to be a Greg right now, but yeah, maybe it is less about character growth and more about the circumstances and the support that he has, because he didn't have that same support in the vote no confidence that he does right now even though there's fewer people i'd say he has more support but i feel like a little i feel like roman has also maybe not changed changed but like i said growth i still think growth is there you can trust me you can't cap it's a superpower that logan has to be able to lie to people's faces and then if people have the power to make him come good on those promises then he will and if they don't then they're in a new situation and they'll have to be a new accommodation fan. The implication is that Tom is the one who blew the whistle on the kids and enabled Logan to secure the deal which they could have stymied. Tom's yeah. been on his way to making this kind of choice for a long time unconsciously. Damn. This is like a moment in a telltale game. You make a series of small mistakes early on and that relationship ends up, ooh, yeah. Tom, I deal with the devil. That makes so much more sense. Oh, God. Since Shiv's uh, admission on their wedding night that she'd had an affair, since a few nights before that when she said that she doesn't love him. I think he does love her quite passionately. And she, after her own fashion, loves him. But <laughs> there are a lot of caveats for both of them. If you're being generous to them, their relationship is very complicated. Tom, I don't know. He's a right there. Ah, fumbled the ball right there. If you cared more about Tom, he wouldn't have read it. He wouldn't have snitched on you. The realist and the romantic is one of the incredible kind of beautiful complications about Tom. So it was kind of inevitable at some point that he would put self before her. Damn. Other people who are in the family it, will always be a Roy, will always be in the newspapers. But Tom maybe has a certain cold calculation to make about what he needs to give if he's going to stay in that world. Dude, hey. Tom's about to have For a long time, right I couldn't find the ending. And then we did a take where we gave Sarah's character time to process that moment. Mm -hmm. And when Tom walked over and said, you OK? OK. Despite that absolutely extraordinary betrayal, she put a game face on and said, yep, yeah. And because it was such a perfect kind of succession moment that she would still somehow find the strength to put that kind of Teflon coat on and be in denial of that pain it was so powerful to me that I knew we had the end of the season. Nice. Yeah, brilliant right there. Oh, and the acting. Oh, my God. Woo! Okay. Oh, well, we are queued up for the for the finale, huh? Let me look at, let me look at this, huh? I, I have not looked at this at all yet. Season four, we have how many episodes? Ah, full 10 once more. All right, cool, cool. We got 10 episodes. It says Kendall, Shiv, and Roman have uh, honed their pitch for potential investors in LA. A call from Tom shifts the siblings' focus towards one of their dad's long coveted companies back in New York. Greg's uninvited plus one raises questions at Logan's birthday party. Ooh, okay. Oh, man, dude. Wow, what's four going to be like? This wasn't too long ago because what? Season one came out in 2018, right? Cool. Season two came out the next year and then season two ended and season three didn't happen. Till, <laughs> dude, 2021, 20, like two years later and then another two years, give or take. And this was, I remember when I was hearing about the show come out uh, last year. And whenever like the the uh, critics Rotten Tomatoes consensus whatever whenever that was happening each episode was like there were some like perfect like perfect ones and I think the monsters was supposed to be one of them but like I I think it was near perfect television basically was the consensus for season four okay I'm I'm so what an episode what a, what a, what a solid finale what a, and what an ultimate betrayal no no like big shock or anything like that I I mean that's slogan for you right I am here for it. I'm ready for the final. <laughs> the final stretch of succession right it's going to be the kids versus papa dragon and i'm here for it <laughs> what a time and a half man 
as always, thank you guys and gals so much for watching. Uh, this is the last episode where I'll be taking suggestions for what I'm going to be watching after Succession. So I will be tallying that up. And once I start the reactions for season four, once I start that up, I will have the official poll uh, included for what will be watched next. But in the meantime, we're about to approach the last season of Succession. And we're also wrapping up and uh, we're catching up with the bear, which thank you for all love and support. What a what a time. <laughs> what a crazy time. I'm loving this. That was great. Well, I'll see you in season four. See you then. Goodbye, travelers. Thank <music> you.